ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದಾ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಮಾ ನಿತ್ಯ ಆತ್ಮನಿರಂಜನ ನಂದ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಕೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನ್ ಪ್ರೆಗ್ನೆನ್ಸಿ ಕೇರ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಆಫ್ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಪೀಠಂ ಅಂಡರ್ ದಿ ಆಸ್ಪಿಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗೈಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪರಮಹಂಸ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ದ ಸೆಷನ್ಸ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಕೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ದಿ ಆ್ಯಂಟಿನೇಟಲ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿ ಎಜುಕೇಷನ್ ಟು ದ ಬೇಬಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಓಂಬ್ and as a part of this or rather an extension of this we felt it very important for the parents who take up the program of conscious pregnancy to also understand what is the bigger picture of conscious parent ma advait who handles the sessions of conscious parenting has come in and uh, we would love to uh, actually share much of her knowledge from this and also to be a very beautiful guidance to these parents who are undertaking the pregnancy care program to have an insight on what is their responsibility in terms of a continuing education it is said that when they the parents decide to have a baby that's when the conscious parenting starts which is much before conception itself if there's a conscious conception and i would like your input on that and at this uh, on this side i have uh, ma uh, niramayananda and uh, she's also a part of the en pregnancy care program and uh, both of us uh, uh, take care of the entire sessions for the pregnancy care program so with this i would uh, like to ask uh, you madhvai so when we speak of actually conscious conception which is when actually the conscious parenting starts we speak of selection of the genes prior to conception and we have a program happening that way and subsequently once conception happens and the mother moves into the pregnancy care program we give her the sessions for a conscious pregnancy itself now do you what we understand from a conscious pregnancy is we are preparing the body of the baby right to receive a soul of higher intelligence because primarily the frequency with which the body is prepared has to match essentially with the frequency of the consciousness which uh, occupies the body of the baby at the time of birthing now what else do you feel can be contributed to the baby in the womb and uh, and as a part of the continuous education once the baby comes out because we they are at a loss what is to be done when they've prepared the ba- baby so well nityananda so basically we uh, swami ji how he explains us if we take a small cup to the river we can fill a small cup if you take a pot we can fill the pot if you take the whole no uh, large container we can fill the whole large container like that when we are able to receive the n pregnancy children they are like a large container when we receive a child from a normal birth baby who have gone through a lot of stress and pain it's like a small container so the whole the soul which comes to the body also occupies how they want it to be and how they want it to have a happening in their life what they want to expre- experience the whole life so depending on the conscious level the frequency level this is whole thing is come into the body and when they prepare in during the pregnancy they just expand the space for a higher souls to land there for more conscious more intelligence it's like more intelligence you can say this much intelligence or more intelligence more and more intelligence happen the planet earth is going to raise their intelligence so we are able to see the difference when the learning starts the teaching starts right at the womb um there are so many things where they teach even spanish nowadays in the womb the parents don't know spanish and the kids are taught spanish so when they come out after 2 years they are speaking in spanish so fluently even the parents don't know so it's a proven result like that anything can be taught to the child right from pregnancy so when they come out to the world they experience higher dimensions which is a possibility for them rather than they come with the suffering and the pain they have to learn everything from by themselves they can still do it but they are going to learn by themselves or you have a teacher right from the pregnancy teaching them and grooming them so beautifully very beautifully put by 
what you mean as the space, the expanded space inside the womb and the baby, we essentially speak of the body which is devoid of the negative bio memories and a body which has got positive bio memories instilled inside. The tattvas which they live, the lifestyle which they adopt during pregnancy itself has a great bearing on the baby when it comes out. What do you have to say on that? What is your experience of such babies versus the other baby? Okay, what we see here is from the angle that we see as children, I'm talking how it should have happened before. We see the children not exactly like parents. They are very independent. They are themselves. But anything very prominent the mother holds, no, the mother holds so much of anger, then the children, the ripple effect is there in the child. If the mother is so highly conscious about so many tattvas and all that, that also is in the bio memory of the child, automatically it sits, sits there and gets activated when the child is wanting it. If the child doesn't want it, it doesn't disturb the child, good or bad. But when the child is tuned in it, then it enhances the whole thing. It's like the mother and the father has building blocks of the baby. When the kid wants to use this, it uses the building blocks. Or else the kid goes into their own way and their own research and all that, and then come back what they have learnt and through their you know, other resources in the system. That's what we have seen from uh, the children point of view. So I'm thinking that they have to understand the whole science inside and then when they come out they will be very clear about life. That's exactly what happened to Prahlada where the science was given inside so when they when he came out the body the building structure was so clear that it's one block so he was very clear what is the purpose of life and he was able to go forward the responsibility of the parents is the only one thing take the soul to the enlightened space so if that knowledge is given right in the womb that's the greatest knowledge a parents can do. what do the parents need to do after the baby is born see many a time then they start living this lifestyle they have practically, we've seen that there's a transformation, a huge transformation that happens in the parents themselves, if they have been very, very sincere in doing the program. Now, uh, once they come out, they are really at a loss because they've prepared themselves and tuned in to what they want to give and what they've been asked to give and all that. But when they come out, there are certain do's and don'ts. Would you be able to you know, give, give us a clue on that? Um, see, what I understand is, it's like engagement and marriage. There's a lot of difference. So when it comes to the pregnancy and you no know, actual having the baby, it's like actually becoming the mom when they deliver. Till then, they, they are like to be mom. No, they are a nice, happy, jolly time. They don't know the whole effect of it. When they see the baby happen there, then they actually yeah. wake up. <laughs> All the lessons you give actually starts happening only there. Till then it is more of a, yeah, I go to a class. I also learn everything and all that. But when they really see the baby crying and upset and uh, no, laughing and all that, then they realize, oh, I am responsible for this being here. I have to take more responsibility in giving them the right knowledge. Right from the start, they can give all these tattvas again and again. Instead of saying, no, the baby is crying, they can go and talk to the baby in the four tattvas. No, what is the reason your, your authentic listening is there to the mom? And actually the Krishna, how Krishna and uh, no, the kid, and Krishna and Eshoda were talking, that would have been the most beautiful. If we can get those paragraphs and no, it would have been so beautiful. Already you know, the kid knows the mother, much more the mother knows the kid. And on top of that, you are crying, what are you crying for? That is exactly what I have gone through. The kid is such a high level conscious, it knows the mother much more and deeper. And you know mother is doing something, then why are you crying? I am going to be there for you. If the mother relates with the authentic listen to the kid, the kid will not even cry. Dr. Krishna, um, he was telling about his friend's kid. He never cries because there is an authentic listening. There are 
parents who do potty training right from the birth when they have authentic listening to the kid the kid will start moving in a little different way they take them to the potty and put them in the potty a newborn babies who really do the potty they don't use diaper or anything when authentic listening is there for the parents that changes the whole dimension the first step is the authentic listening because already the mother is connected and already the child knows the mother much more the intelligence is right and pure just the happening there so the child will know what you're doing that's why the uh, the whole phase of first few years with krishna yashoda will be you no know, literally talking like that you know exactly what to do and you have done everything and come here as though you don't know anything that is what i am angry about you not that you did something i am angry about you you do all the naughty things and you just come and sit as though you don't know here now you open your mouth she says so it's such a beautiful you no know, relation between the child and the mother it's completely linked the swami said so beautifully till i got enlightened there was an umbly call called connected to my mother so it is always there is a connection which the parents have it's not physically there but in a emotional uh, sense it is always there till they get enlightened and they know exactly what the mother feels they don't have to be told at all so that is the beautiful relationship the mother can you know make gain on that and teach the child okay now you know me no then authentic listening starts happening then she can start teaching come on sit down now i know you will learn come on sit down and i can teach you all these shastras and they have to be thought the highest possibility right there if they want to make them as a nasa scientist bring nasa scientist book and teach them right there they will learn anything and everything 250 ships of a data a um, brain can hold so this child who is born can be given everything right the tuition has to start there so everything they are able to grasp because there is only authentic listening every moment is listening to their hands legs are anything around they are only in perceiving things there no judgment no inner chatter happens so everything a parent wants to give if you want to make a doctor bring the doctor books right from there give him all the things everything the learning starts happening learning finishes by 11, 7 years that's what we say um it's so beautiful when they start reading when they start ri uh, not writing but learning things the kids will pick up 250 uh, ships of data is it like that with everything or is only with certain kind of knowledge like you no know, uh, every like science jog like that we have different different right in every way they are like that or only certain knowledge so the kids are able to grasp anything you teach them medical you teach them engineering you teach them some art everything together they can pick up see their brain is so vast we use only 10% of our brain they say our brain has the capacity to no it's like a nine story building in uh, us where america in uh, new york we have this nine story building of library with lakhs and lakhs of books out there and one child can learn the whole thing our brain can hold that scientifically they say this is a possibility because the number of combination that we have in our brain everything put together we can learn so much of data the possibility exist whether the child is going to learn and make it a use of his in his life or not the child decides but you can place in his library you can put everything to him whether he uses the spanish or not is up to him but you can give that knowledge right from the start that's why swami ji beautifully says seven languages can be learned by seven years because the dialects for example we have this um, uh, i was talking to the chinese uh, except one kind of mandarin chinese other than that everybody do not use the word r the letter r they cannot do rr. even these mandarin cannot do rr. the sound they cannot do because they have never heard it they have to hear it below 7 years oh, okay. if they do not hear the sound they can never hear it or After do seven. it yes so the brain is so powerful listening to even the subtlest thing for example the dog whistle the child probably will understand the dog whistle but we cannot hear it 
because it was of no use to us we dropped it only by seven we decide okay these are the things which is useful for us other things are not useful we drop that's why we only perceive what we want in life but right till seven years everything is perceived as it is there is no pattern pattern is only just forming so there is no pattern everything given to the child he perceives everything that's why when Gurukul the kids come by seven years they perceive the whole conscious space of Swamiji and instill in them so that from that space only they're going to go ahead so they are able to perform extraordinary than any other child. Shouldn't they come in earlier than seven? When you said by seven, it's kind of uh, the the brain growth, is, uh, the absorption capacity is like complete. Shouldn't it be that it happens earlier? Yeah, right now, uh, actually Swami says four years. Vivekananda says four years, the consciousness starts understanding. Okay, this is the world. This is me. Starts the identity. So four years we give these lessons. But in Gurukulam right now we are able to take from seven. So we are talking about seven. But actually from four years old. We start in Chennai where from ten months we have kids. We teach these four tatwa right from ten months. But the effect of it will start from four years. Four years when the identity forms. They know how to speak. The three or four year olds in parent choice in school in Chennai they are able to absorb the four tatvas and live it when they go for competition they don't hurry they wait and one competition this kid had gone and there was so much of chaos no they didn't plan properly organize properly so everybody was saying no we'll go back uh, return our money and we are going back but this kid said very beautifully ma why are you getting upset they have declared they have made a mistake they only caused this chaos when they committed and completed we should wait for them why are you getting angry and you no know, going after them they have they have done it so if they have not accepted that this different thing now they have completed it we have to support them they couldn't they didn't think of such a large group suddenly coming so they made a mistake this kid is explaining to the mother because he was taught right from the womb how this four tatva starts working he's grown from the womb in parent choice the school there so he's able to grasp now live it even here we had a kid when we had some uh, no problem some fire had happened small fire same time there was a three-year-old kid and so beautifully she's uh, able to say why are you guys running around you can be unclutched the kids do not tell what they learnt, but in practical sense they use it. So they are so beautiful when the practical need comes for him to express that rocket science or NASA scientist or medical thing, he will just bring it to alive. So all the data is put, kept in the library of his library. So he'll just download it when he requires. But parents giving right from the start is very important. That is what I was telling her about reading. Reading should be taught below 7 years, not after 7 years. When they start reading when they were very young, they see as pictures. They don't see as letters. It's like a drawing for them. Whether you show a drawing of a rose or show a rose and teach them this is a rose, right? So drawing of a rose means it's a sketch, it's a lot of lines out there. Similarly, the CAT cat is also a drawing, a visu visual picture. It is not C. Do you call this as photographic memory? Is this photographic yes, photographic memory is much deeper. Okay. But first initial stage, they see this as visual, as pictures. They start understanding all these as pictures and they let grasp much more. Like you said, how they learn this uh, data is because they are able to grasp much more at that point. And again and again, they are able to understand their, you know, their uh, whole brain is not so much. Their whole brain is so much. So when next level comes, they are able to grasp much more. Their thinking is higher. So everything, if you teach Nachiketa Upanishad, Kato Upanishad in the womb, so they have a sharp, authentic thing, listening and thinking. So when they come out, they come with a deep listening to others. When you teach medical science and they are put in a medical forum, they're going to be a medical genius. 
so this is what we see what happens in the womb directly reflects in the reality so that is where the mother's stress and mother's pain is there then that is also going to reflect in the child as an unknown component and how he picks up and understands against all that also this tatvas will help so even if she has a suffering and the tatvas are given so he'll pick up on the best children always pick up the best if you leave anything they want to grab the best so they will pick up the best of the lot so this is what happens when you teach them right from the womb the parents go through everything is very important first seven years is complete with the parents they should live and completely they should be learning everything from the parents that is the beautiful relationship they can have and after seven years they have to be on their own like Ramar went with uh, no for with the bow and arrow that's how they should be ready for facing the world no facing even demons like that he said yes I am ready come on what do you want me to do because this first seven years is given so beautiful raised so beautiful that the confidence is a leadership right at seven years now as we understand every consciousness or soul comes in onto the Kaji? as we understand the consciousness which descends down and comes uh, to live on on the planet has its own purpose for which it has come down now when we push all these things into the baby does it become too much of a load on the baby how does it decide what its purpose of life is and then basically blossom or can the parents actually obstruct its expression also on a negative note see we have both sides which are there right yeah, uh, this question actually has been asked especially in uh, school in Chennai. Um, are, are you overloading, you're teaching my children too much? This is the big complaint we have actually in Gurukulam and uh, other places. There is nothing as too much. They can actually grasp much more. We are actually teaching less. That's what I said, the whole library has to be taught and no parent can teach the whole library to the kids. So we enjoy certain space and we just casually read. We don't actually teach them too much. And they are able to hold everything. What we are doing is we are only arranging their libraries. It is them who picks up what they want. The parents cannot do anything to the child in terms of, no, um, there will be a parent who hits the baby every day. There will be a parent who pampers the baby every day. But the pampered baby will have more problems pattern. I'm just saying a, a hypothetical uh, thing, situation where uh, the pampered baby can have more pattern than the person who gets hit every day. It is the perception of the individual. The choice is given so beautifully to each individual what they want to live, where they want to be. It's n It cannot be hampered by anything they can decide what they want to do consciously most likely but most likely we pick up lot of things unconsciously from the parents most likely we think they are the role model of life they are the people who have survived this life so we have to pick up that if they have diabetes if I pick up diabetes that's the right thing to do is a conscious decision the kid makes so when the kid is thought that you are choosing out of your own interest that right from the four years so he will know what to choose from the parents also when my son had the fracture and he said Anma, this is disconnected my hand is disconnected I immediately said wait you do what you're doing and I need to move away and I have to sit with my patterns I don't want you to take up what I'm going through. You're going through such beautiful space, but I am going through something. The clarity has to be given to the kid, especially when those moments are happening. Instead of just getting angry and upset and throwing that on the kid, and the kid will think that is the right pattern. No, the parents have to be very clear. I am going through something. I am going through the anger. It's not going to be affecting you. You are a different species there. If you want, you can pick up, but this is what I am going through. This is nothing to do with you. When they discard, especially when the emotion comes in the parents, they do not instill the fear and anger and upset into the children. 
and the children also knows oh this is the mom is going through something and she has to complete it is not what we have to pick up from her the clarity is given when the clarity is given they are able to understand how they need to perform in life very beautifully that is not given is the whole problem you go and shout at the kid when they have a problem they fall down and you shout at the kid the kid will exactly do that to a other person if somebody or their wife or somebody falls down she, the kid will go and shout the kid grown kid now will go and shout at the wife because they understood this is how the mother behaves this is how i have to behave because this is taught as a lesson every moment is a lesson for them so every moment we have to be very conscious there is a intelligence being the avatar sitting out here i cannot say what i want i have to be very conscious of what they are grasping from the space if the parents are educated into the parenting where we teach them this science then they start practicing with the children they will be amazing children happening they will not obstruct the purpose they came for each kid has come for some in purpose and whatever the purpose the final purpose is enlightenment the parents can just connect them to the enlightenment as a final purpose other purpose whether they want to be a doctor they want to be an engineer and all that is the interest they pick up they pick up one interest and use that interest for the final goal only so the final goal is parents responsibility to teach them at very young age that is the most important so this would ideally mean that uh, the inner awakening program done by the parents either prior to conception itself or at least during pregnancy or at least soon after birthing becomes a, a must right because that clarity that awareness everything has to be there in the i think it would be ideal for them to probably do it even prior to conception that's a most beautiful period of time when they are very very aware of what they are giving and probably get a regrouping or a reorientation happening during pregnancy um this is uh, like i mean every moment they have to be so alert and aware as to what they are pushing into the child at at any time anything wrong can happen right okay ma well, you must have met a lot of uh, kids some of the kids parents would have done a program like this some of the kids parents wouldn't have done have you seen a lot of change or how how is it between the two kids so the basic thing see it's a individual it's lot of uh, it's a very technical game actually lot of it is the individual lot of it is surrounding and lot of it is bio memory and everything the bio energy and bio memory how these three play in a kid is very difficult for me to say it exactly because the bio memory bio energy comes from a many births and then their perception of this place that depends on where they live that's why they live in a very village kind of setup they are so pure and beautiful so everything adds to the component and then what the parents give them also so all this play a very crucial role that's why in prahlada how where she is kept and where the no intelligence is given everything is taken care only if everything is taken care the kid is exceptionally beautiful they just grasp like this otherwise they have to go through their own learning their own prarabdha their own uh, no patterns and all that then they have to make a conscious decision and they have to come out to learn all this if everything surrounding is so beautiful they are in a temple surrounding in a village it's a beautiful surrounding at least during pregnancy where they can that's why the mothers are asked to relax a lot lot of relaxing music where they are in a beautiful lovely loving setup if they are there especially the first few months of the pregnancy where the whole brain is forming it will so beautiful if they are in a beautiful lovely setup they will grasp that like in arunachala and the place is ganga so much of consciousness is no heavy on that place when they are there it's a beautiful surrounding that takes care now the parents are continuously talking tatva that takes care and the chances of the soul which is in higher intelligence will start happening naturally because a bigger area you have created so the soul which wants to come there also is a soul which is a higher consciousness who wants to come for a higher purpose in life 
not a materialistic life but higher purpose in life that's why in gurukul we see so many kids with a very high purpose all these kids are in a very high purpose we see a different being out there they are saying in 8 9 years they want to enrich the world they want to live with swami ji usually the kid wants to drive a car go to a pizza hut and mall and watch a movie like uh, no um, tom and jerry and things like that these kids are saying i want to enrich the world i like this lifestyle it cannot be thought to a kid it cannot be thought to a kid it has to be understood by the kid by themselves you cannot say residential school for a 7 or 8 year old so easily but they are so complete because of the conscious birth they have had naturally in this phase so they are able to stay in a higher consciousness and understand the purpose in a different way right now oh wow this seems to be fine why it's fine nobody knows no answer for that kids not able to explain but they are able to see i fit in here uh, with the conscious uh, parenting i mean pregnancy and the birthing we found many of these babies are very happy content babies very very fulfilled in their own space and so complete unto themselves and uh, they smile all the time they are not cranky and like you said even when there is a slight uh, discomfort they actually put put their legs up till the diapers cleaned and then once the, once the diapers put they put their legs down so these are something where where truly we have seen that they almost behave like adults you know as we understand adults to be so there is a very keen they are keen listeners keen observers and uh, intelligence which is something far beyond what we have seen compared to the other babies now this is from what we have gathered as what we are giving we give the tatwas uh, during the pregnancy program and uh, apart from that of course the other things of mantra chanting the music therapy and the communing with the baby like you said whatever you could possibly give just give it into the baby and those are the sessions which actually the husband talks to the mother the basically the baby in the womb now is there anything in terms of the no it should not be done very categorically uh, what exactly would you say the parents should not do to the child as it's come you know after this pregnancy care program that we gave and the baby comes out some specific don'ts if you could just you know highlight them yeah um like um, telling the teachers i will not say they should not use no not don't and all they will that's not the whole thing if they can just hold on to the you no know, concept of enlightenment as a purpose teaching them anything other than that no again repeatedly repeatedly is not going to be the higher purpose that is what they should not drop they should understand very clearly the child has landed the avatar has landed on planet earth to experience the greatest intelligence it's not like a car they process so it is a happening they are being a no um, instrument for that to happen so that is what they need to understand and only thing they have to reiterate again and again in the child is the purpose the child has come down for is the enlightenment the ultimate purpose when they are only talking about the ultimate purpose everything else whether they beat the kid they shout at the kid they whatever do they do it doesn't matter because the child is very intelligent to pick up the best again if the father is uh, not cranky and talking and all that shouting at the baby the mother is talking about enlightenment the kid will listen to the mother more okay. that is one thing which everybody asks the father is not uh, having ideas about these things but the mother knows all these things the mother is teaching or the father is teaching the mother doesn't know the kids pick up the best so even one person keeps on reiterating the highest purpose is the highest intelligence that could be possibility in our system so if they are making sure that one thing is kept alive anything else they do doesn't hurt doesn't hurt at all because finally the kid picks up to the best that is the highest intelligence so that is the beauty if they have given all these tatvas and this understanding to the parents if they keep like uh, prahlada was given one concept no vishnu is the ultimate everything else whatever happened to him he left when the father shouted when the father abused him all he said is vishnu is my ultimate 
only one concept but that he held because the mother held that space for the child so the parents have to hold the best space for the children that ultimately it is for enlightenment we have come here so that is the space which parents hold everything else what they do is only small minor things which is going to affect them and they go to tumble and learn that but everything else is i won't say there is no right parenting or wrong parenting every parenting is the right parenting how the child perceives is only up to the choice of the child so we can only create the setup the beautiful ambience if they can grow around the master if they can grow around ganga or tirunamalai where the you no know, heavy presence is there so the it naturally helps us if heavy uh, disturbance is there so how it puts us down the violence is there it's going to cause a effect on our system same way heavy presence is there it's going to beautiful be there inside us also no what we breathe outside is what we are going to live for so the whole thing is the presence where they live and what they are going to be continuously talking the parents are going to teach the child and what they can bring the child to a master you no know, these ingenious programs as early as possible below 7 years from 4 to 7 years if they can bring they will get into the ultimate the master really initiates the brain rewires the brain for the highest possibility and if they are bought like bought up like that and highest intelligence they going to be a new being there new being which is happening out there which is going to perform extraordinary we don't have to worry about their studies worry about anything because their intelligence is too much we can't even grasp so it's not any more our problem for max physics chemistry teacher tuition memory every day do the homework it just happens very high intelligence happens that we have seen kids who Uh, don't even understand how to study basic things but are able to grasp higher intelligent things so easily higher subjects and they are able to perform in lower classes they don't perform but suddenly in higher classes they are just grasping and performing the performance only their interest the minute they are interested they just show extraordinary output and we are like is this the same kid last year <laughs> the only interest the switch that kid does and we have to wait for that no force will happen we'll just wait when they are ready to walk we just help them to walk when they are ready to learn we help them to learn so when the help is given and all these ambiences like gurukulam no swami ji's space trivanamalai all these ambiences is brought into a child's life as early as possible the parents understand these things as early as possible is the best blessing for the child is uh, you take these parenting sessions every month and are they online basically um could you just tell us about how these sessions are conducted i would really tell recommend all the parents to how they do go through the pregnancy the other side of the equation is parenting so when they learn to you know raise the children they have to understand how they going to communicate with the child how the child understands after pregnancy till pregnancy it's part of them so after pregnancy it's a new being out sitting out there how they are going to relate understand is what is thought in parenting and it's like a must every parent like swami ji beautifully puts when you want to be a doctor you spend 4 5 years of your life so when you are really bringing a being an avatar up at least few years you have to understand how these things are to be given to the child you're raising a new consciousness a new vivekananda new shankara new buddha out there so we have to take that responsibility in understanding swami ji has given a beautiful lesson for us so we just go through all the part of it and we you no know, tell all the parents how he raises gurukulam he mothers those hundreds of children so that is exactly you can also do at home it's very doable and anybody can take it up and it's a beautiful space that children will start listening to you that's the advantage you don't have to fight with them in the morning to wake them up rather it will be a beautiful experience with them where they will come and say mama i love you in the morning that will happen when you understand their language we teach you the children's language so that you start communicating in their language thank you nityanandam